Hey YouTube, it's Ambig Zero with uh, another Photoshop tutorial. Um, it's 12:39, and I am really, really bored. Um, yeah. So today, what we're gonna do is I found this photo, uh, picture of an eye on um, DeviantArt, and this is what we're gonna make it look like. This is the original. Hold on. There's the original, so we're gonna go from that, and we're gonna make a um, more intensified eye. This is a really subtle effect, but if you were doing some like professional work or something, um, this might be one of those small things that you tack on that really makes it better. If you do something like more dramatic, I've seen a lot of people do it with like MySpace photos and everything. So you open it up at a high resolution. I bump this up to uh, 200 uh, resolution. Uh, always create a backup just in case. Uh, nope, that one was a finished one also. Okay, so here we go. Create a new layer with it just to back it up. Alright, and uh, we're going to start, uh, you know what we're going to do is we're going to take our elliptical mark key tool, make, roughly make a circle around the eye, about the same size, so I'm going to go like, there but that's good, and I'm also going to feather it, so we're going to go to select, modify, feather, um, because we're working at a higher resolution, we have to do more pixels per, um, well I don't really know a good way to say this, we just need more pixels when we have a higher resolution, I'm going to go down to 20 pixels. If you had a lower resolution, you'd pick a much lower number. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. Let me uh, right click, and we're going to via layer, or layer via copy. Uncheck these two, and you can see that it softens up the edge. Now we're going to work with this for a minute. Uh, go grab your burn tool. Um, I have my exposure at, let's put it 50. Um, it's at mid tones. I picked a decent size. I could actually make it a little smaller. And I'm just going to go around the center edge, like halfway through the edge. Go around once. Let go of the mouse because it doesn't work the second time around for some reason. Go around another time. There we go. Now we have this dark center. It, it, it doesn't make the eye look any better, but once you lighten up the center of the eye, it creates like a more depth in it. Uh, so if we grab our dodge tool, we can now go around the edges here. Of where The edge of where we made it dark. You can see it kind of brightening up there. You might want to go in some of the darker spots more than once. Definitely up here more. Okay, and now we have that. Um, my exposure was at 22. I wouldn't have had to do it as much if I had bumped it up. Now for me, uh, that's still not enough, even though we could stop there. I'm just going to press Control u on my keyboard, uh, Command-U if you're on a Mac and bump up the saturation which adds more color um, to the image not more more um, here, I'll, I'll just show you if you lower it you get closer and closer to black and white the higher you go the more intensified it is too much is obviously too much um, I'm gonna go positive 30 sounds good we can also bump up the lightness if we want but um, that it doesn't do the same thing um, I'm going to set the background to zero and press OK. Now, with contrast, what we can do is create an even more in-depth thing. Now, I think sometimes this is a little too much, but just to show you guys in case you want to do it, you can mess around with this. Um, you can mess with the contrast and brightening. Uh, then you can darken the dark spots if you see if you go like up there. Um, what was brightness on that? And this um, kind of works with both ways. It's a cool little slider now. It darkens the dark, yeah. But you can mess around with those effects to do that. Now, if we add it back to the eye, you can see the before, or the before and the after, before, after. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a really subtle effect, but if you use it um, in conjunction with the whole picture, you could, uh, you know, make it a lot better. We could also clean up the eye if you wanted to a little bit. This was a short tutorial, so I guess, I guess we can work on cleaning up the eye. If you uh, see these veins in here, we could actually just make it a more solid. So if we grab our clone tool, clone stamp tool, make it a little larger, grab a section of the eye that isn't, that's like good for us. Make that a little smaller. So I'm going to hit Alt, I'm going to drag it over the um, vein and start to draw. Press Alt a few times because it'll start to screw up the image if you don't do it correctly. I'm just going to go in here and paint it out. And uh, since it's a solid color, we can actually come in here and blur it, and we're going to fix these little spots that I'm making. And you really won't be able to tell the difference. 
Um, let me get rid of a little bit more of this. Almost. I got one more little spot. I know you guys probably can't see it because of the video quality. Um, you might not have been able to see any of that, to be honest. Uh, and then I'm just going to go in here and blur it because it's a solid color and no one will even know. Uh, we could also do that in here, and that will actually take care of some of these veins. I doubt you guys can see these veins. They're pretty faint. Okay, so now we have our... Let me just combine these two layers by pressing Control e We have our after, before, after, before. Um... Not a dramatic effect, but it's much better. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to do like a rainbow-colored eye, which is like, much more dramatic and very cool. And uh, I'm probably going to have that one uploaded immediately after this one. So, you guys will see that one in a second. And if you're out, rate, comment, and subscribe.